okay? He's here. What? He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, oh, no. I don't think we can... Run! Oh, that probably wasn't the right move. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dodgy, and today we are continuing with Killer Frequency. So sit back, relax, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. Hopefully we don't kill anybody this time. I think we have to save a, a young man who's in the woods or something. No, he's in um, a field. Some kind of field. A labyrinth. He's in a labyrinth. All right. Any luck? Um. Hmm. No, I'm not having much luck. Any ideas? Did you try around reception? Oh. Barbara is honestly our best bet here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There must be something around. Yes, Barbara. That's what we were doing. We have to go downstairs and look for labyrinth stuff in her receptionary area. Was that? Mm. Luxury apartments. That's not what I'm looking for. Labyrinth stuff. Huh. Looks like Brad broke her heart. Wonder what she'd have done with all that maze maze stuff. What would she have done with it? Um. Oh. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. Alright, I think I've studied this map enough to hopefully help out this poor guy. We'll see. He's got his whole life to live, and he's counting on us. So we gotta we gotta get this this boy home. Fingers crossed. There we go. Alright. Uh Let's put that there for a second. Um, I don't need this. Place that there. All right. Can I shoot this now? Why can't I shoot? I wanna. I wanna take a shot. Yeah. All right. Okay, Peggy. I think we. I think we got it. Any luck? For Eugene, yes. For Barbara, no. Right. Brad canceled the date, so Barbara left her tickets and a map for the maze maze behind. Mm. Oh, Barbara can do better than. Never mind. Let's save the kid. Okay. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Welcome back to one eighty nine point sixteen. The scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. I'm lost, Forrest. Okay. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Okay. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Okay. Hay bales. So he's gonna want to go left. Go left. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I went left, then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. Um. Pig statue. Pig statue in front and a rocking horse to the left. Okay. Go backwards. 
Go backwards. Oh, God! Why didn't I just take the fighter over? Oh. Okay. I'm at a crossroads. All right. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which it's way? Up ahead? You're gonna want to go left. Go left. This is horrifying. I just wanted some love. <laughs> I just wanted some love. There's a tiny barn in front of me and a scarecrow behind me. Nothing to my side. Nothing's at his side? Okay. Uh, tiny barn ahead of him. Scarecrow behind him. So he's over here. Nothing on his sides, but... Okay. Um... You're gonna wanna go... Scarecrow... You're gonna wanna go right. Go right. Go right. Beehives? You should be coming up to the beehives. I can't run. Much more. Okay, it's okay. I it's... just passed a cord and silo. Didn't see anything else. Corn silo? Please. Where do I go? Ah. Uh, go forward. Go forward. Okay, here I go. This, uh, doesn't look right. Uh, no, no, I I'm going back to where I was. No! Jesus! No. Oh, shit! He's cutting through the walls! Where do I go? Uh, he just passed the corn silo. Corn silo is right here. But I don't understand. And didn't see anything on the way? That could be anything. It depends on what side he, he passed. Hold on. Came up through here. Just passed the corn silo. Go right. Go right. I, I see it. Yes. Uh, I'm out. Yes. But my bike's still here. Woo. <laughs> You're welcome, kid. I love you, Molly! <laughs> that was tense. That was really, really I tense. I held my breath the whole time. I, I pretty much Shame did, the too. the maze got all cut up. Yeah, better huh. than Eugene, though. Yeah. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Mm, probably not. 149 guys. What time does my shift end? And thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Next report caller is Clive. up for us, okay. so take it away. Okay, that's that didn't work. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Oh. Thank you. That's really wonderful of you to say. Yeah. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Long Ride Home. All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. No? What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. What Why? are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? Why? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. Ah. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Okay. Not my finest hour, 
but I can only take so much. Hmm. For shame, Peggy, for shame. All right. So, uh, what do we do instead, then? <laughs> Let's just play a different song. Mm. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Dawn. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Okay. All right. Um. Let's try this one. Here comes one of my favorites. <laughs> of all the songs to request, why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Okay. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Forrest? Oh, thank God. Murphy. It's me again. Murphy. Uh, what's wrong? Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? I don't know, dude. I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Okay. Forrest, we need to do something. God. Oh, man, what can we do? He came from the gallows waste disposal plant. Mm hmm. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. I got a flashlight, but. Oh. Oh, goddamn. I smell smoke. Oh, no. I think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry. Who are we gonna call? I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? What? Why is there no backup vehicle? That doesn't make any sense. He... Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. Are they you can't do anything. serious? But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. Okay. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old. Really old. So not okay, reliable. I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Uh, map, map. Is this the map? Okay, this is the map. Um, cemetery. Oh god, where? What was it again? Oh no! Okay, here we go, it's on the side. So... I'm already gonna exclude Jericho because he's uh uh he's old. I mean, let's be real, he's not gonna go and save anybody. So Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road. Where's Haddonfield Road? Haddonfield Road. Okay, so it's over there by the traffic notice. So there's that. Lives on the corner and right next to Romeo Street. Romeo. Romero. Okay, Romero. So he's on the corner. So this is his house. That's a big ass house. Where is... Okay, the waste disposal is over here. So he's over here. Catherine lives on the west end of Myers. 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 Myers Lane. And the old man lives on the right side. I would probably say... I think Alex is probably the best bet. He's kind of... He's not too far away. He's and he's not old, so we'll we'll go with him. All right, Forrest. Who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Alex. 
Call Alex. All right, give me a second. Hopefully this works. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Okay. Let's hope they get there in time. Oh, let's see. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Okay. Are you sure you can't? What? What's happening, Peggy? Alex was too far away. Too slow. What? The plant burned down. It collapsed. So Murphy is... Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. What? No! Jeez. That's no way for anyone to die. Dang. Terrible way to go. Yeah. Murphy, I promise we will stop this. For you, and for Fernando. Peggy, it's going to be our- Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. <sighs> what would've, like, the old man, like- All right, folks, uh... another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. I don't, I don't know, host, guys, Forrest this is Nash. so- Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this oh. awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. Yeah, you guys are doing we a bang-up job cops now. who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. <laughs> uh... Teddy, this isn't the time for your political ads. Stop. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. I... That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, okay, buddy. Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. Oh yeah, what's a that? problem that's ruining our town. What is that? You know what it is? Huh. Your family's waste plant burned? Emergency not problem? Yeah, how about the goddamn serial killer? The problem is that woman. Our current mayor, uh, Linda Cartwright. Okay. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright uh, is un-American, unstable. Can you cut him off? You're better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it. Your producer sounds a little unstable too. Wow. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of- No. And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. Wow. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. Cornhole, corn I got those jackass. Cornhole, I should have. I should have called him out. Jam, I should have. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. And Dodgy. Oh boy, here we go again. Uh, hello, caller. Caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I... I think he's killed some of them already. Oh, God. That's him! He's just outside. 
outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? <sighs> Oh, no. Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? <sighs> Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there. Yes. All right? Now, where are you? <sighs> the old murder house. The old murder house? Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. Um, there's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Uh. Uh. Go to, go the, to closet? the closet. Okay, I'll. Okay. He's here. What? He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't, I don't think we can. Run! Oh, that probably wasn't the right move. Earlier, pretending to be the whistling man. Oh, That's it. I'm out of here. Yeah, no, you're sick, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, this is a pretty sick thing to do. What? <laughs> it's whistling night. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in. <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... Uh... Wait. Oh, no. Who, uh... Who are you? Oh, no, man! Everyone, get inside! Oh. Everyone, run! Ah. Uh. As long as he's out there, and we're in here, we're safe, right? No, you're not Goodbye safe. Ton, but not much. Forrest, we have to... Heather, <laughs> I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house. I don't know why. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, of course. The van. Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. <sighs> Jimmy. Oh no. Jimmy had them and Jimmy's Jimmy's dead. Uh focus, focus. Focus, stay focused, Carrie. Focus. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. I'm here. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's gotta be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. Do what? Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Oh, Force lucky was... girl. We'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. 
Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things they're just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. Okay. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Okay, great. Or else these idiots are gonna get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. Okay. Uh, and I don't know anything about your friends. <laughs> uh, uh, these damn kids never learn. They're just dumb kids. Uh, breathe, Peggy. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Uh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. Yes. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> I don't know if that was very, um, very good to say. I don't know. Uh, final breath. Yep. Oh, okay. I guess we're going to play this one instead. Boop. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. The bird is the word. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Yeah. Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right. Oh, I think see I know. Can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. I think I know. I think I know where to go. Get out. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. In a corner. You know, there's something that I was thinking about while all of this is going on. Um, how is the whistling man getting to all these locations so quickly? It's like he's all over the map. Jeez, they really tucked Jeannie away. Uh, no. What's this? Friendship quiz. This might work. What the hell was that? Okay. I hate when when things just bang and I have no idea where it's coming from. All right. I guess it was nothing. Whistling man isn't here yet. He's going to come here eventually. I know he is because I've been tipping off people on what to do. All right. So we got the friendship quiz. Okay. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever well, you're ready. Hopefully it'll help. Hopefully. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. Okay. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Uh, should be Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Okay. Before we drive out of here, we someone to pick the lock. Seth, uh, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Probably Jennifer, because she's more likely to escape Jennifer. a prison. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Huh. Anyway, that brings us to part three. Okay. Getting the van keys. Um, I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably be easier that way. Then is part four. Okay. Well, this is a long plan. How much more is there? Only a couple more points. Okay. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. Hot David, obviously. Hot David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh... 
I spend a lot of time running shirtless. <laughs> you got this, hot David. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We okay. get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. The getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Okay. Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Uh, worst poker face, though? We should use acting to lure Cynthia? Cynthia. Okay. Right, Cynthia. You'll do. That should take care of the killer. Ooh, I don't know. I feel like that was the wrong decision. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be... Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Tammy, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. I don't know. I feel like I, I picked the wrong... Uh, none of these guys. Uh... And all of these guys have ones. I oh man, I don't know. I don't know. They're all bad. Okay, Scott. Scott. I know we all love watching American Skid. Yes, I. Yeah, just do what they did in the movie. Uh. Thanks, Forrest. Okay. Just take a few seconds for ourselves. Oh, I don't know if I made Scott. the right decision. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. I don't know if that was the right decision. It actually decision. sounded like a pretty good plan. Um... I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. The last two I was, like, really iffy with, so I don't... I don't know. We... do we play music? Oh, the kids are back already. Oh, Jesus. Line one again. If you're just tuning in... We're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Okay. Uh. Good, good luck. luck. And Godspeed. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Water says go! Okay. So far, so good. Focus. Breathe. Right. Right. The van keys. Just grab the van keys. We got him. Okay. It's up. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. Sweet. And hot David should be back any second. Perfect. It's working. Okay. I can't believe it's actually working. You're doing great. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step. Trap the killer. Oh, this All is the right. part that I'm not. Wait. Get into position. Okay. Everybody else, hide. Okay. I'm not sure, guys. This is making me really nervous. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Ah. Oh. There he is. Ah. He's buying it. Ah. Ah. Oh no. Ah. He knows. Oh no. <laughs> Damn, Kate. 
Sitzung statt. What? Oh no. Come on. What? It won't stay open. I'll hold it. You drive through. What's going on? Carrie! What was that? It's a whistling man. Drive! Now! Is the van not working? Okay, okay. Alright. What was that? Get somewhere safe. I can make it home. Thank you both for helping. Yeah. If you hadn't, I. It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. It was all you. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Ooh. That was stressful. That was Folks, that, that was, was stressful. A, that was a lot. That was a lot. Our thoughts go out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. That For sucks. any kids listening in, please stay inside. They should be inside anyways. It's after stay one. Safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. They should Here's be all asleep. For the girl walking home in the dark. Play that one. Oh, that was super stressful. <laughs> hey, we had a call come in. Okay. When you're ready, shut the music off. Oh, right, right, right. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Oh, uh, thanks. I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. What? I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. Roller Ricky. And I now Ricky. consider you a friend, my man. Ah. Oh. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Oh, really? Yeah. Back then, things were pretty rough. But then you found roller I skating. With a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. Okay. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. Never a good thing. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Oh, man. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. That's good. I opened up about my problems. and Sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. Hey! I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Yeah. Now whenever I get down, I get down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. <laughs> it's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh, he has the puppers. Oh, hello, Max. 
Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. Yeah. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. Of course. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now. A real pro. <laughs> Max can skate. Nice. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. <laughs> Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie Aww. loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Maxie, sounds like a really special boy. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm <laughs> actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating's got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, can I request a song for us? Absolutely. Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. Something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Let's go and with I this think one. We'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Hey, I really needed yep. that call, you know? Yeah, me After too. Everything. Yeah, I me get that. too. Jesus. You talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? <laughs> well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. Um... I think we're gonna end it here for the night. Let's end it on a positive note. Well, that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed, please be sure to hit the bell notification, that way you are aware of the next time that I post. I love you. Don't forget your boops. Boop. Okay, bye.